What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg, and I hope you are doing well today. I am back after a short vacation um, at the beach, and uh, do I look tanner? I don't, I don't know if I do or not. Anyway, uh, if you're new here, please consider staying a while, enjoying yourself, subscribing to this channel, and when you do, hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. And with that said, let's get into today's video. We're talking about retired defensive end Ryan Kerrigan. <clears throat> Guess what? As we all know, <clears throat> as we all know, uh, Ryan Kerrigan has rejoined the Washington Commanders, but as a coach, as an assistant D-line coach, um, it was last week actually that um, Ron Rivera has hired Ryan Kerrigan uh, to be a new assistant defensive lines coach. Um, Kerrigan will assist uh, Jeff Zagonia. Uh, who was elevated to defensive lines coach on August 9th, the same day that head coach Ron Rivera fired Sam Mills III. Uh, Kerrigan retired in July, ending his playing career as a Washington Redskin, all-time leading uh, leader in sacks. He helped coach the defensive line during training camp. And quoted, just still being involved in football and the competitive aspect of it, you can't replace all that, Kerrigan said. You can't replicate the out, that outside of coaching and, and playing. That's definitely the biggest thing for me is just still having that competitive aspect, that competitive side of, of it, that competitive side of it fueled. Kerrigan will be tasked with helping ends Montez Sweat, Chase Young to be more productive. They definitely need to be more productive this year. Young will miss at least the first four games, probably more than that, though. Um, and, of course, you know, because he's on the uh, pup list right now. <clears throat> The one thing about Ryan is that from time from the time I got here and watched him in 2020, it's just how much of a true pro he is," said Ron Rivera. A guy that does things the right way, takes care of himself the right way. That'll be important to our young guys to learn from his example and his experience. I tell this a lot of times to guys that are former players that are coaching. Doesn't make you a better coach, just makes you a guy with experience and that they can relate to that and it's it's self is special he'll use that and that'll help him in terms of his growth and development as a coach but also gaining the players respect now Kerrigan played for Washington from 2011 to 20 recording 95.5 uh, sacks he was named to the franchise's all-time 90 greatest players last uh, list last week Kerrigan played for the Eagles last season. He didn't have a sack during the season, but had 1.5 in the postseason. So there you go. Ryan Kerrigan is a coach for the Washington Commanders. Um, this is a very good move uh, for Ryan Kerrigan, and I'm so happy that he came home to Washington um, you know, yeah, he had that brief stint last year in Philadelphia, but, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, Art Monk went to Philly. I believe it was Philly. It was either Philly or it was the Jets, but I was thinking it was Philly that Art Monk went to for a little bit. Um, it could be wrong. It could have been the New York Jets. It was really weird to see him in another uniform. He didn't, of course, very shortly after that, he retired um, you know, Gary Clark went to Arizona and he played in Arizona for a few seasons. Um, but you know, the true loyalty always lies with the team that you had your most success with and true to form, you know, Ryan Kerrigan had all of his success in Washington and he is a, I'm going to say he's a Washington Redskins for life. He was a Redskin up until the last season of his career basically um uh, in washington where they became the football team so 
you know, he, his his um, loyalty, loyalties lie with Washington, and so I'm glad that he decided to come home and coach. Um, it was nice to see him retire as a Washington commander. Um, so I'm hoping that he will develop as a coach. He seems like he has that look. You know, certain players, after they retire and they get into coaching, they just have that coach's look. And he does. He has that coach's look. I think that he may be able to do really well as a coach. It would be really nice for him to work his way up the ranks and become a defensive coordinator at some point. Who knows? Maybe he does uh, become that that point. (laughs) If he does, maybe he stays in Washington and works his way up to that point. Um, You know, it could happen. And maybe we want it to happen that way. It would be nice. You know, we talk about player from the player aspect, growing your own, right? Developing your own players. Well, why not develop your own coaches as well? You know, develop your coaching staff. Have a solid coaching staff that is loyal to your team. Now, yeah, eventually if they're really, really good, they're going to want a shot at being a head coach. But, you know develop those coaches and see what they can do for your team to help your team out so this is just great I, i'm just i'm happy you know i never got a ryan kerrigan jersey and so i guess i'm going to have to browse uh, ebay <laughs> to see if i can get one but uh um you know uh, ryan kerrigan is back home in washington uh, as a uh, as a head coach and I uh, has a head coach. Wow, I'm really getting ahead of myself. I will drink to that. Mmm. Morning coffee is always great. Anyway, um, let me know your comments. Um, turn it over to you guys. Let me know what you think about Ryan Kerrigan as an assistance D-line coach for the Washington Commanders. You think he's really going to help out? Um Chase Young, Montez Sweat, I think he will. I think they need all the help that they can get. Uh, speaking of help, uh, I can help. I can use some help with this channel as well. Uh, the first thing you could do, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell. When you when you hit the notification, it will do what it says. It will notify you so that you won't miss any video releases that I have on this channel. I try to release videos on a regular basis, on a daily basis, unless I go on vacation and then you probably won't see any. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's what I try to do. There's other ways you can support, uh, like this. Seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me